This is the most insane and mind-blowing chess endgame. Why to move and win? How crazy this chess endgame is? Let's find out. If you think you can checkmate the Black King in this kind of position, well, that's not the answer. In order to win this kind of endgame, you have to create a position that Sigswang the black species. If you are ready, let's solve this one. Of course, we have to move our king to prevent the black king going out. So let's go king to f7. And then two options for um, the black king. Moving the knight on h6 or moving the pawn to h6. Let's go first by moving knight to h6. Then later on, we will try the h6 move. So king f8, that is checked. Make sure that um, the black king cannot have a chance to move away from this very tight position and the knight on h6 cannot go anywhere so first to go back knight to g8 knight g4 as you can see the knight on g8 cannot go anywhere so h6 is the first move king to f7 I'm um, guarding the f6 and also the e7 square. So this knight can no longer move anywhere. King to h7. If you think, okay, I'm gonna put the knight on g6. Let's try to knight e5. King to h8. And after knight g6, king to h7. And of course, white has to move again. And the only piece to move is knight, not the king. Because if you're gonna move... The king, it will lead to a draw game because you just give a square for the knight to go somewhere and prevent your winning chances. So let's go back a little bit. So after of knight g4, king h7, let's go by moving knight f2. Triangulation will not work in this way. So the only uh, reasonable solution is to move around your knight, go for a timing also your king so we will turn around here so watch king to h8 and then go to knight e4 king to h7 knight to d6 king to h8 and after of knight e8 as you can see the g7 and the g6 are covered there is no way now for the black um, black king to go anywhere on g7 or g6 so this knight is the only hope. King to h7. King to e6. Uh, e6 king to h8. Black cannot do anything about it. King to d6. King to h7. King d7. You have to make sure that you're gonna go for the perfect timing because you cannot go, just go um, knight g6 check and then um, king, king h7 and then you have to move the knight again. So you have to go for a 6-1 position. King to f7, king to h8, and here, you cannot go knight f6 because knight takes knight and rook pawn, it's a draw. So you cannot afford to trade your knight. Knight to d6, king to h7, and after of knight f5, watch, watch here, watch out. Knight to h4, king to h7, and after of knight h6, king can longer go back to h8, and the knight is forced to move somewhere. Let's say knight f6 or knight e7 regardless. Because after king takes knight, this one is now a win. If we will continue knight e7 to make sure and to show how to win this kind of endgame. Uh, let's go here. Um, king h7 protecting this h6. And then you can go knight f5, king h8. And then knight takes h6. Easy win for for white of course if there's no knight here this is a draw game but since there's a knight well a clear win for white so let's go back to our original position so after king f7 we move the knight to h6 this time let's go pawn to h6 knight to f5 and then king to h7 knight to g3 in this position it's kind of tricky because um you have to find once again a perfect way to go to knight e8 uh, knight f5, king h7, let's go, this is the same uh, position, right? Knight d6, king h, and then knight to e8, king h7, king e6. So regardless, 
you you go knight a6 or h6 as black's first move same re same result will happen here king h7 and then after king d7 king h8 king e6 king h7 then king f7 now is the time for the white knight to move around knight c7 and then king to h7 knight e6 king h8 and after of knight f4 um you can go king h7 same scenario same position we had and white wins